What's going on everybody? Gareth here of CP Euro. Welcome back to another DIY video. Today we're going to be replacing the rear gear oil on a 2013 328i xDrive. This is one of the uh, special BMWs where uh, BMW decided that uh, they're not going to include a drain plug on the rear differential, so you're forced to siphon the gear oil out of the fill plug. Today we're going to show you how to do that as effectively as possible, removing as much gear oil as possible. Uh, we do have a special adapter that allows you to drain most of the oil out, and this is definitely something you can do at home and save yourself a bunch of money. So now that we've talked about that, let's talk about some of the tools we're going to need to do this job. So some of the tools you need for this job, um, we have this little special uh, adapter here to help siphon fluid out of the differential. This is specifically designed for differentials that only have a fill plug, so you're going to want this for this job. Uh, some kind of siphon or hand pump for both removing the fluid and filling the fluid. An E10 torque socket, strictly for this little harmonic balancer slash damper that's on the subframe. Your vehicle may not have it, this one does. 17 millimeter socket for removing the fill plug. A couple of different ratchets and you're going on a torque wrench that could do at least 70 new meters of torque. So now we talked about some of the tools we're going to need to do this job, let's go and get right into it. So this vehicle has this, I don't know, acoustic damper mounted to the uh, subframe, and that's kind of in the way of the drain plug slash fill plug on the diff. Uh, it's held in with an E12 bolt, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this first. And here we have access to the drain and fill plug. It's a 14 millimeter Allen. This shouldn't be uh, on too, too tight. It's only 60 newton meters from the factory, but you find that you're struggling to remove it, somebody might have been in there. Looks like this one was weeping a little bit. So I see some, some film. So maybe the seal on these, on this plug is not good. Nothing's coming out. But these uh, drain and fill plugs, they have this little uh, green fighting seal on it. So I don't know, maybe the seal's bad or something. But at this point, we can go ahead and uh, drain the fluid out. We'll be replacing this plug anyway, so not gonna worry about that. So this is the part right here that's a little bit annoying about some of these newer BMWs, how they don't have drain plugs on the diff. We have this little special adapter here, which you can put onto a hand pump or a fluid extractor. In this case, I'm just using a vacuum extractor here. And uh, this will actually go into the diff and it hooks in at like the perfect angle so you can uh, extract as much gear oil as possible. This adapter makes this super easy. And to be honest with you, you will get a good chunk of the fluid out Similar to how if you removed a drain plug, it's sort of sort of feels wrong that you have to do it this way, but it just is what it is on a lot of these newer cars. As you can see, it's actually worked really, really well. Do you carry this on our uh, on our site? So you know, if you plan on doing the service on any BMW that doesn't have a drain plug for the diff, this is gonna be your friend right here. Could also use it for refilling, but um, I don't really see the value in that. This is pretty much for extracting. That's where this comes into play. Now we're using this genuine BMW uh, high poid gear oil. It's a 7585. It's a G4 fluid. So finding this specification in aftermarket fluids can be a little bit tricky. Um, I, you could use a 7590 GL4. Uh, to be honest with you, most of these fluid changes are to reduce drag, to increase fuel economy. So, you know, one could argue maybe a 7590 offers better protection, but I want to put back in what came out of the car. Um, another thing to note as well is um, on these diffs, they are pretty small, at least on this 328. Um, fluid fills can be anywhere between one to 1.2 liters, really depends how much you extract. So we have 1.5 liters of fluid, three bottles. I'm gonna put a fluid in until it starts coming out 
and realistically speaking, even though BMW does not have a service interval on these differentials, I'd say 50,000 miles is probably the best time to do this. 50,000 miles would typically be your average service for these things, and really all you're doing is removing the old gear oil, putting new gear oil in. The stuff does oxidize, the additives wear out over time. Um, so to ensure long service life of the diff, to prevent any possible problems down the road, putting new fluid in is never gonna hurt, even if there is no service interval. But 50K, I think, is a reasonable time period to do it. So use this CTA siphon pump here as my filler. And now we're just gonna pump fluid in until we can't put any more in. Could use a power filler for this too, but just doing this uh, kind of the way that most would have to do this without any fancy tools. I did use the fl fancy fluid extractor, but that was mostly to save time. We took just about one liter of fluid. So at this point, just gonna let it drain out so that stream slows down to a trickle. I think it goes without saying that gloves are your best friend on any job like this that involves fluid. This stuff could be pretty nasty and it's not good for your skin. Uh, so at this point, you know, it's a little bit of a steady trickle here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and cap it off with a new plug. And then our uh, torque spec on the new drain plug is 60 newton meters, which is roughly 44 foot pounds. And then uh, from here, I just wanna, you know, use a little bit of brake parts cleaner, get rid of the excess fluid that's there. I'll just take a rag and wipe it down. And then the last thing we have to do is just reinstall this uh, harmonic damper for the rear subframe. Now I'm sure there's a torque spec for this, but literally could not find one. So we're just gonna use our heads on this one and just make it tight so that it doesn't come off. There's a little bit of Loctite on that bolt. And again, that's an E12 bolt. And I'm just going to, uh, just gonna make this tight. So as you can see, the surface is actually really simple. Uh, while it might seem intimidating with some basic hand tools, you can definitely go ahead and take this job on yourself. And while BMW does not have service ratings for things like differential and transfer cases and all these other things, uh, we do recommend doing these services on your own car to extend the service life of these components because differentials and transfer cases and all these things cost a lot of money. And even though BMW has made it a little bit more difficult for you to do it, you could still do it even with those basic hand tools that we show you in this video. So we hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box below. We'll definitely get back to you with any question that you have. Hit that like button. Also, subscribe. We have a lot more videos on the way. And as always, we'll see you for the next one. Thank you for the support.